Hacker Twins here. For those of you who are new, Tripedal is our three-legged walking robot. He has come a long way, and at the end of this build, you'll know why this is his final upgrade video. The code and CAD files can be found in our GitHub link below. Help us out with the like and subscribe. Let's get to it. The waist has four major upgrades. The center leg has a vertical servo now instead of a horizontal one because I want more space for stability on the center leg. There's a slot for a transceiver, the buck converter for the power supply, and a spot for the Arduino Nano. This way we can at least try and start to manage the wires and prevent it from being too top heavy. In the original video, if you looked very closely, you would realize that he was very bouncy when he was walking around. And this is because I jimmy rigged the bottom ankle on. This ankle design was fun, but it's just not proper. In our previous tripedal video, you can see just how bouncy this foot is. I'm amazed that tripedal was even able to balance on one little stub. This new ankle is a major upgrade. It has two points holding onto the servo, so there's going to be no jiggling, and the linear knee infrastructure is directly on top. The radio transceiver will go right here. The power module can go in the center. And this is a lot better than this. Now it's time to start taking all these servos apart and repurposing them on the new build. It's time to put the new leg together. We'll get a little bit more stability because the servo mount is fastened above and below. It was hard to tell before, but this is way more in line with the center of Tripedal. This gear I'm struggling with is too big. I have another one lying around that's not the right size, but I'll show you how I make it work. The waist being driven up and down is actually a little wobbly, so I just need a slightly bigger gear to make this a nice fit. It's hard to tell, but it seems it's about 11 or 12 millimeters of total movement. With the bigger gear, driving the linear knee in the center will get more movement up and down, but this is actually more than enough. Tripedal's not even six inches tall. This is an entirely new tripedal that you've never seen before, and it's funny how much one little gear in the center of it is causing so much drama. But now it's perfect. Okay, the new outer legs are on, and funny enough, because it's a little front heavy, if I just run the legs up and down like this, it very slowly crawls forward. I might have to play this in fast forward, but you can tell that it's making its way to the end of the mat. He's got some major upgrades even though he looks like a hot mess still. We have a power switch, we have a spot for our batteries, and we have this wireless chip that we're going to use to send walking sequences so we don't need to plug them in to the Arduino. Very quickly, if we turn over here for a moment, I have another Arduino, which is connected obviously with this USB cord to my Ubuntu desktop. I'm not going to go through the wiring sequence, but I could post a picture of this transceiver and how it is wired up. And this is how I'm going to send code and walking sequences from my desktop over to Tripedal. I'm definitely not proud of just twisting wires together for circuits, but if I can prove, if I can get the walking sequence figured out where Tripedal is doing impressive things, I'm going to make a bigger one and I'll manage the wires when there's more real estate. Okay, I have no idea how this sequence is going to work because it's based off of the old Tripedal. So I'm just going to run the code and see what happens. This is the first time I'm running the code without having it USB connected, so I can't see what's going on on the serial monitor. All right. <laughs> oh, you okay, buddy? Now it's time to learn how to walk again. 
Oh. Compared to hard-coded walking sequences transferred via USB, this wireless transmission is an absolute luxury. This is the first successful step from the radio transceiver. Modifying the walking patterns was super simple. These next two steps are bigger and faster. Any hardware upgrades will be small and cosmetic. The next time you see Tripedal, he's going to be doing an obstacle course. Hacker Twins out.